What's going on YouTube? It's currently the next morning after releasing the latest LG C2 and G2 update video, which was for software version 13.30.50. And I've already seen some comments under that video with some of you very eager to see what were my results from the OS upgrade when it comes to the service menu. And I didn't have to wait very long. After uh, one of my other recent videos where I talked about the reasons why I wanted to stay on WebOS 22 as opposed to upgrading to 23 and beyond, I uh, didn't have to wait very long as LG pushed this update out within a week or so of that video, I think, something like that. But I am excited to show you the results. I finally get to show you the answer to that question of will the service menu access change and what does it look like? So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you the two clips that I recorded during the installation process yesterday on that video. And after I'm done showing you the results of my findings, be sure to stick around because I have some more things to share with you after that second clip. By the way, as I was just getting ready to end this intro clip, did you happen to notice, I don't know how well it translated on camera, just during that short time of doing the intro clip, my screen here on the C3 had dimmed down a good amount and as soon as I moved the mouse to stop the recording, it went back to full brightness. That's hilarious to me. All right, before I get the upgrade started, I do want to do a quick demo of what the service menu looks like on WebOS 22, which is the one that I prefer to keep. So if you're not familiar with how to access the service menu or you're not familiar with this in general, you're going to need to pick up one of these remotes on Amazon. I think I paid about seven or eight bucks for it. But what you want to do is hit the end start button. It's going to pull up this little pass key you have to enter. It's 0413. And you're going to get this menu right here. And the main difference between this menu and what you find on the LG C3 and G3 is going to be going on right there in the middle, which is those 17 options you can choose from in order to make changes within the service menu. And I may or may not cut in how this looks on a C3, or I might just wait until after I've installed the OS upgrade and see if it's changed it. But either way, I'm going to show you what the service menu looks like on the C3, G3, or whatever web OS we're getting here. And you're gonna see the difference right away is you don't have those 17 options going on in the middle there. So, uh, but with that being said, I just wanted to show you what this looked like on the C2 and the G2 and how I really hope that after doing this OS upgrade, it still looks on my LG C2. Okay, it's time for the moment of truth. By upgrading to the newest web OS on the C2 here, did it in fact change the service menu to what you now find on the C3 and the G3? Well, the time has come to check this out. So once again, have the service remote here. Gonna hit the end start button. Let's plug in the code and see what happens. And just as I feared, the service menu has now changed to what you will find on a C3 and a G3. I can't tell you how disappointed I am that the service menu is now what you find on the C3 and the G3. And like I've mentioned in a recent video discussing this topic, there is still a way to access those service menu options like I showed you on the C2 before doing the OS upgrade here. There is still a way to access those options, but you have to jump through more hoops to get there. So if you have a C2 or a G2, and you're somebody who is comfortable going into the service menu and disabling and enabling options in there to enjoy the experience the way you want to and you're willing to take the risk. Now that we know upgrading the OS will also bring the new service menu that you can find on the C3 and the G3, which then in turn makes it more difficult to get to those options. Now you know that you don't have the same access to the service menu as you did before. So now it becomes up to you whether you're actually gonna do this update and I can tell you, I am so glad that I did this update manually on my bedroom C2 and not the game room TV because I would be extremely pissed off right now if I had just taken the chance, updated the TV and the OS thinking that the service menu would be the same and then come to find out it's changed. So now the game room C2 will be completely disconnected from the internet. It's gonna be a completely dumb TV and I will never reconnect it to the internet more than likely. But not all is lost here. 
in this video, in my opinion. Now that I know that the new OS brings that more lockdown service menu with it that's on the C3 and the G3, and I'll finally be able to answer the question for myself and for you all on video, which is, after you do the convoluted steps to get into the part of the service menu where you can turn off those settings and have full control over ASBL dimming, the question is not being able to get there to do those things. The question is, what happens when you turn the TV off and you turn it back on? Will the TV in turn re-enable those features and you have to do all those different steps all over again every time you watch the TV? Or will I be able to turn those features off like in WebOS 22 one time and then it's good to go from there moving forward? I'm finally going to be able to answer that question and I've been curious to know that answer ever since I'm, I purchased my C3 as my desktop monitor. Now I have a reason to go in and test that out. So if you're somebody who cares about that topic at all and you want to see how this, this series plays out as far as getting to that part of the service menu and disabling those features and turning off ASBL like I have on the C2 prior to this update, be sure to click subscribe and turn on the bell because you're going to want to see these videos and see how it plays out. So there you have it. Now you know that if you click yes to upgrade the OS on your C2 and G2, you will also get a revamp of the service menu which can be found on the C3 and the G3. And as you can tell from that video when I was doing this in real time during the update, uh, you could probably tell the disappointment in my voice. I am extremely disappointed at the results of that. And like I said in that video, I am so glad that I didn't just go ahead and manually update the game room TV and put myself in the position of having to jump through the extra hoops to access the real service menu to disable those same features that I've had turned off the entire ownership of the TV and being able to disable those features and in turn control ASBL dimming has had a direct impact on my enjoyment of the LG C C2 display and now that we kind of get a, a glimpse of moving forward, it looks like the C2 and the G2 are going to be the last generation uh, available to have the old service menu. Those of you that haven't purchased a C2 or a G2 and you care about this topic at all and you care about being able to get into the service menu and turn off those features so you can enjoy your content and your gaming the way you want, you might want to jump on any C2s or G2s now. You might you, you might want to go ahead and make the purchase now and hope that the TV doesn't ship with the new firmware. Because other than that, if you try and get into a C3 or a G3 and, and as the C4, G4, etc. are getting, re getting ready to release, we already know that the service menu is going to be the same as what I just showed you. They're upgrading the C2 and G2s uh, over to. But I did tease something in the intro and I did talk about it a little bit in that second clip on the test results, which is now I'm fully motivated to on the exact same TV you just watch. So I'm going to test out on video how to access the actual service menu now with the revamped service menu. And I'm going to show you what happens after you complete the steps to turn off the ASBL, ASBL dimming. Will it stay that way? Or am I going to have to go in there and do this over and over and over? I'm going to answer these questions on video for you. So if you're interested at all to see how this plays out and you're not subscribed yet, you're going to want to go ahead and click subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss how this plays out. As I sit here and notice that my C3 has dimmed way down from the start. As a matter of fact, let me move the mouse real quick. Let me click. It's still not brightening back up yet. This is interesting to me. There it goes. It just brightened back up. And this is exactly why I want to get into the service menu and turn this shit off. Okay. This is exactly why this is such a big deal to someone like me. I know that this is not a big deal to all of you out there, and it's probably a non-issue for most of you. But for somebody like me, in the time that I've been doing this outro, it's dimmed way down so much to the point that I can notice it on the screen, and you can probably notice it based on the lighting hitting my face. But anyhow, that's going to wrap up the video. If you did enjoy the content, please hit that like button for me. It really helps get my videos circulated out more. And if you want to help support the channel in other ways, you can subscribe and turn on the bell. 
You can join the channel membership. I think it's like five bucks a month. Really helps support the channel. It'll help me get new displays throughout the year to test out and show you things on the channel. So if you want to be a part of that, go ahead and join the channel. Be a big help to me. But with all that being said, like I say at the end of all my videos, until the next one.